Ooh. And did you say, do you know how famous I was? Yes. I did was. you say that? <laughs> all right, all right, I was rookie right. at a motherfucking year. I'm in these streets. Year. I was rookie at a motherfucking year, god damn it. You heard me. <laughs> anyway, y'all ready? Yakinika boards. Hot. It's hot. You understand? <laughs> hot. You feel me? Hey, we yeah, live. Yeah, yeah. This go. is YBZ the podcast. This your boy Jay. I got Aisha in the butcher in the boom boom. Room. We back, and I got Frank over here to my right. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. We were just getting into a good ass conversation that led to another good ass conversation that yeah, led yeah. to us saying this. Aisha, you got a good ass voice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes, yes. I can't wait to hear this. I, ooh, I can't. Well, uh, man, with the ear. With the, uh, yeah, for real. Already. Thank you. Call me now. She you got that me? jigglypuff voice. <laughs> she said, that "Call jigglypuff me now." Voice you sleep and right, shit. Exactly. <laughs> she, she's a yoga instructor. Can I say that? Yes. Yo, she's yes. a yoga instructor and, and, and she says they come for the voice. They stay for the stretches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stretch your mind. <laughs> you almost said something else. I for the your mind. No, 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 no. See, I wasn't going to get nasty. I was not going to get nasty at all. Now, I, I could have said something and I, I could have said the other thing I was going to say about her voice, but I did not say that as well. All right? How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. You good? No, nah, thank you. Cause you cause now I'm flustered again. Oh, Goddamn. look at the red cheeks. Hey, hey. No, they not. They're not. No, they ain't <laughs> ready. What the I'm fuck? For that. They ain't ready I'm at all. Too dark for that. I'm too dark for that. Pause. Dark all red. That. Goddamn dark red. <laughs> Yo. Dark red. Anywho, Frank and I used to gonna do something special. They are gonna give us a top five together. Uh, Butcher, go ahead and shoot that off real quick. So, pause. Our top five. Pause. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. You did you did hit that? Our top five is if you could look back on your younger self and give him some advice. Him or her. Him or her. Thank you. Or they or them. They or them. Hey, stop it. Go give ahead. Them, you hey. can give them some advice. You got it. We got a little bit of things uh, to say here from uh, Frank and Aisha. All right, Frank, go ahead and kick us off real quick. All right. So uh, one is standing on business, mm -hmm. right? I know that's, that's been said loosely around the community, but yeah. what I mean when I say stand on business is you got to put something real behind the words you say. Hell yeah. Um, the, the very first PSA, I talked about how we were going to take over a lot of spots in Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Like how we was taking over Naha, taking over Gate 2, taking over Raha. And what happened? We, we, got, we got into five clubs in Naha. Okay. Okinawa ambassador got his foot in there and we've been doing events out of there. Got you. Uh, we didn't got in concrete, did like four events out of there. Gotcha. We we now in duplex, got the kitchen back open. I'm I'm pushing the jerk gotcha. and all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um and we just we in motion right now. The locomotive is going down the track. It ain't stopping no time soon. We getting more passengers on board. Mm -hmm. And uh it's just do I just, what you say you're gonna do. do. You yeah, do, do what you say you're gonna do. Do you say what you're gonna right? do. Right. Um hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Are you should go ahead. Okay. So what I have is be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Gotcha. Um, it sounds self-explanatory, but, you know, a lot of times we tend to hate on people mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. or a lot of times. Indirectly. Yeah. Yeah. Directly, directly or indirectly. And, right and now, sometimes yeah. it's just because sometimes you feel inferior and you feel jealous or, you know, sometimes that's like the root of it. Like sometimes and, and that leads into be kind to yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you don't have to compare yourself to other people. You can be you. You need to accept who you are and be nice to you because we sometimes we're hard on ourselves. We mm. beat ourselves up because we're not there. We have like our goals and what we want to achieve. Everybody has flaws. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yes. has sure, flaws. Sure. And then that is OK. And, mm. you know, we're not nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. And you just got to acknowledge what your flaws are. Mm. And if there's something that you can fix it, then mm. you can fix it. Perfect. But, but yeah, yeah, just be be nice, be mindful of yourself. Do know what you are capable of. Mm -hmm. And if you want to achieve goals then and do it. Okay, Perfect. you kind of like, you kind of bleed into your yeah. other one. Hold on, hold tight, hold tight. We, hey, we got you. Yeah. Frank. But but hey, I like I like that you talking. Go ahead, Frank. Hit us with that. Other All right, one. uh be an asset and not a liability. Oh, okay. All right, so so if you have something to offer to the group or whoever you are associated with. Yeah. Be, be that asset that we can move forward in. Okay. Right? Um, people that I feel are liabilities are ones that just hang around and enjoy the show, but Hell they yeah. don't have any performances. Yeah. yeah. You know, so 
be be a standing ovation. Be be the next act. Don't just be there to just enjoy it. One right. thing I want to add to that because that's a good point. Be an asset, not a liability. Do what you can do. Know your role. Mm-hmm. Play your role. Don't try to play somebody else's role. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's a big one. Here and since we add shit, I got one to add to what Ayusha was saying. I I I got a philosophy. It it's always cool to say please and thank you. You understand? Oh, it's yeah, always sure. cool to say uh, being be nice to others and be <clears> kind <throat> to yourself. It's please and thank you go a long motherfucking way. All right? Please and thank you go a yeah, long sure. motherfucking way. Those are bonuses. Way. Huh? Those are bonuses. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. on standing on business, before we get to Aisha's next one, and on standing on business, I, 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 everybody use that word, but I see a lot of y'all don't know what the fuck that shit mean. You mm-hmm. understand? A lot of y'all don't understand what standing on business mean. Don't be saying shit. It's a lot of things a lot of people say that they don't, you know what I'm saying? But I'm about yeah, to go on a whole rant. Go on, I shoot, man. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So the another one that I have is mm-hmm. you can start anything at any time, but know that the time is not unlimited. Mm-hmm. Don't waste your time waiting for the right moment. Hell yeah. And yeah, yeah. stop postponing, stop procrastinating. If there is something that you want to do, like go after it. Hell yeah. And, it. and I, I have some examples is that. It, so like money, money and time and time. And also like me getting into yoga uh-huh. because I was like, I'm not, I don't have the body shape for it. And, and that was like my dilemma before. Got you. But I, you know, trying to remembering from back in the day, mm-hmm. As we were talking, like, what would you say to your younger self? Like, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a che- I wanted to be a cheerleader because yeah. all my friends were trying to be a cheerleader. Like, we were all like, "Let's make memories. You're all going to be a cheerleader." Uh-huh. I got scared. I was like, "I don't have the body for it. I can't jump. I can't. I love to dance, but I was like, there was something that was holding me back, mm. and that was always like kind of like in the back of my mind. Gotcha. I, I should have, could have, would have. I wanted to, I didn't, and I, I took the back seat and then I became a manager. Gotcha. And w- when I started yoga, I was practicing it for, for a few years. Yeah. My instructor was like, oh, you should be an instructor. I was like, no, I can't. No, I can't. Mm-hmm. But she was like, no, you can do it. You can do it. And then, you know, I jumped into it and gotcha. I was like, yeah, I can, I can do it. And I'm doing it now. Yeah. And now you got, and now you got, yeah. now you got them standing now yeah. for the stretches. Now you're going to stretch. 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 You're really there for the voice, yeah. goddamn. But you know why it happened? Because you was getting in your own way. Hell yeah. 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 And that's yeah. why you was getting and, in your and own yeah, way. And yeah, you are the biggest enemy of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And, right. and, and on top of all that, man, me and the butcher is living proof. You feel me? We're here. We here. You know what I'm saying? Something that, I don't even want to we, get into the we origins. We stood in again, our own but, way. But we stood in our own way, for real. And, <coughs> and, and here we go right now. Hey, yeah. to the final one, number five. Number five, come on. Uh, Mr. Uh, Frank, Frank, you got a number five? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, facts don't care about your feelings. Damn, Already. there we go. Already. Yeah, yeah, because too many people offended about the truth. Hey, ooh. Yeah, they, 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 they more hey. offended about their truth being faced in front of them mm-hmm. than, than them really acknowledging it. Yeah, that, I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like people don't even like looking in them, looking themselves in the mirror. It's not just the cliche thing to say. <laughs> it's more like <laughs> Go ahead. it's more like when people say look yourself in the mirror, they saying check that shit at the door. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you just a lot of people criticize the, the reason why people who have these ugly attitudes and these characters is because they're they're hiding from their own demons and they want to push that shit on other people. So, them. so I, I practice them. something, Frank. Bunch of demons. You, yeah, yeah. You you enter a room. When you enter a room, you enter a room humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But have a plan to kill everybody in that motherfucker room. Oh, yeah. We know where that quote from. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, already. Yeah, already shake the hand at everybody you meet and have a plan to kill hey. everybody. Hey. Already, yeah. already. Hey, yo. Very good, you two. Thank you very much. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if this next up is going to be good or bad. I mean, not good or bad or funny or down. I, I, I wanted no. to keep it light, but. Okay, so for those who don't know, and y'all ain't gonna know because y'all ain't gonna see her. Uh, Aisha's mixed; she's half black and half Japanese. Am I? Am I? That's correct. Yes, okay. that is correct. So I wrote this not for her, but because of her and of my own children and other children that I know and other adults. Anyway, I'm about to. I'm ran yeah, over. Stop me from God You ran. You going all over? Check me out, man. <laughs> don't laugh. Is it cool? For a half black, half Japanese person to say the N word. <laughs> no. All right? 
y'all know the scene. Y'all know hip hop big out here in Oki. You know what I'm saying? Being in Japan in general. Okay. If you in the car with your half black, half Japanese friend, and they saying nigga this and nigga that, and you do you look at them a certain type of way? Frank, what's up, man? Do you do have you do you have any mixed experience? Friends? I got mixed friends, but do they I don't, use the N word. I haven't heard them. You ain't heard them either. Nah, nah, not towards me. <laughs> you know, so, so, I yeah. halfway slapped the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think um, that that word has been it don't offend me. I feel you personally, right? It, now, if you're using it to me in a derogatory way because you feel like you just gonna do it, right? Um, I don't know how you gonna wake up in the morning, <laughs> but I know that. You, you you just gotta be. You might have a list. You deal. Yeah, you know, right. yeah, you might have a list. Right. Right. Have a you list. might have a list. Couple, 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 couple. You so, wake so, up like where couple. am I? I want to lighten that subject a little. Because <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> it is a heavy subject, right? It is a heavy subject, heavy subject and yeah. everybody knows I'm a white boy. Yes, I'm yes. Italian, but I'm yes, still I, a white oh, boy. Oh, here right? we go. Come right. on, man. Well, uh, there was a movie that came out. <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take off. Talk to me, please. Stop me from myself. Go. I'm sorry. There was a movie came out. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The the movie was old dads. Just gonna kill you too. I don't know if anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Justin went over this just, back and just forth. Go, just gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. But there was a movie old dads, right? Oh, and yeah. the dude's riding in the car in the back. That's uh, and, with Bill Burr, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I love that movie. And that they movie. play that song by. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then the part comes up, and it was an NWA song, was yeah. it not? Yeah. The part comes up where he's, he's singing a song word for word, and all of a sudden he stops, and everybody looks at him in the car. Right. It's like, go ahead, you're gonna sing that when you by yourself, right? What what's the harm here, right? right? My point is, you know, I don't use that word. Okay, I don't use that word. Okay, have I been singing a song and it's come out before? Absolutely. Okay, he just confessed. Absolutely, <laughs> because I've been singing a song because I'm into the music. Right. But do I use that word directly at anybody or for a reason? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't. If and I don't use song, it in a day to day. I, I, mean, I don't use it day to day. I don't. I yeah, don't. now if you use it day to day, that's a problem. Hold on, because I got to touch on that. Now, I, now, black people would tell me to check him for that. And you I'm not, should. I'm not check gonna, him. I'm not going to do check that. Him. I'm not going to do that. Man, I'm, it, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to do that. We hypocrites of our own, man. I'm not, right. I got, I, got, I got a lot. I'm a hypocrite, my motherfucking self, and some of y'all are too. So it's, I'm, I'm like this. He don't use it towards me. He don't say it around me. And use of the time, and I don't I, do it in every song. I'm like this. I do not condone whatever you're doing in the privacy of your own home or whatever. That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's on you. And that's your conscience. That's your demon. That's your this. That's your that. All right? I probably say a whole bunch of racist shit about Japanese people in my goddamn house that I probably never tell you. And my wife is a whole Japanese person. You understand me? So I'm saying it to her face. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? That's but that's a conversation that's in our house, right? right. Now right. out in public, out and about, this, that, or whatever, whatever. The butcher would never do that. The butcher's Absolutely never done not. that. And so it's an offensive word. Yeah, it is. It is to it, say it, it, it at yeah. somebody or to somebody. It's an yes, offensive yes. word. And, and I'm saying all that to say this. I got a, my son right uh, speaks English very motherfucking well. Okay, and he learned most of that English from listening to rap music. You know what I'm saying? He, I pick him up from daycare. I'm playing something vulgar. Why? Because at the time, he didn't understand a motherfucking thing that was going on. But he did pick it up because he knew this is the only way I could talk to daddy. Right? And in the middle of all that, he developed a, a bit of a cussing fucking fetish. The boy liked to cuss. You feel me? The boy liked to <laughs> fucks and bitches and all that shit. Playing video games, you know, I like I like to get down on Madden every time I drop a ball. Motherfucker! This, that, or whatever, whatever. Fuck around, caught his ass doing that shit playing Fortnite. He missed a shot. Bitch! You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't cool. <laughs> it ain't cool. Right? We got into the subject of the N-word, which is another reason why I brought this up. He is into Drake now. He has discovered Drake. And, of course, y'all know Drake will fling an N-word out there. He's black. You know what I'm saying? He's half, you know. And, he, you know, he'll fling an N-word out there quickly. I don't want him to use the word because he does not know the effect of the word and what it what it could lead down to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Among again, back in the house, in the car, we in the cars, me and him, let it fly. He ain't offending me. You know what I'm saying? Supervision. I'm watching out for him. And I gotta thank music, rap music, hip hop, all that shit, because it taught my son how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Correctly to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh but other than that, I wouldn't I 
I told him certain words, cuss words, N word, this, that, or whatever, whatever. My whole philosophy is don't use it to mom and dad. Don't use it to grandma and grandpa. Don't use it out in the street at people. You know what I'm saying? And if you do choose to use that word out at people, all right, you better have some motherfucking hands to go with it. <laughs> yeah, you feel yeah, me? You better yeah, have yeah. some hands gotta to go You got to be able to back it up. Going, oh, right, yeah. you got to be able to back that shit up. Don't just be flinging that word around all willy-nilly like that, like it's cool, like that's going to be the end of it because you're going to run into the right one. You feel me? So, but anyway, I'm bringing on what y'all now, dead ass. I show how you feel about that. Like, have you do okay? Have you had another? Do you do you use the word? I do not. Do you have other mixed, half black, half Japanese shit? Mixed black, anything? Use that word around you? Mixed black, yes, but mixed black and Japanese, I can't think of right now. I know a couple uh, mixed mixed half black and Japanese yeah. that use, but. Right. I'm starting to remember stuff. Okay, well, we'll yeah. get, your thoughts, get your thoughts together. <laughs> Collect now, your thoughts. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm under the impression, and this just me, You either you've been in that environment and you use the word and you use and it come out naturally or whatever, if you have black and half Japanese and it just come out and the way it mm-hmm. come out, it's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? Because you are black. We are a dominant species. Right? Mm-hmm. Anything you mix with black is going to be black. Mm-hmm. All right? So any... any Wherever you at, you have black and Japanese. Guess what? You know what the Japanese people see? You black. Mm-hmm. Goddamn. You understand? So that don't give you a G14 classification to say it yes or no. Me personally, jokingly, if you if your daddy around, you can use the word. Goddamn. You understand? Yeah. If you grew up with your daddy, and your black daddy, you might can use the word because that's probably where you learned it from. Because you, your, your your Japanese mama ain't use it. She yeah. better not be motherfucking using it. <laughs> and if you see a motherfucker, you better slap shit out of that motherfucking ass. If you a Japanese girl with a mixed motherfucking kid and you saying nigga in a song or anything like that, and I catch you doing that shit, that's your ass. Goddamn it. And if you got a friend that's got a mixed kid that's using the n word, whoop their ass immediately. Goddamn. You understand? I mean, so I, I got a lashing coming this what just oh shit fuck you do you I told you I every once in a while I'll be singing a song uh, okay you because I'm, I'm grooving though I got you songs I, I, is different that I mean because it's because it, you know you just singing a song and stuff but if you just out there like I really like I'm not gonna let anybody just call me out like that and think they that damn comfortable to just say it yeah you never hear I, me I've been it called all. that like yeah. in Naha I was walking to my car and somebody was just yelling it nah, 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 nah. and I was they like, Japanese they were me Japanese they were Japanese, oh, oh, Japanese right oh, that man. and so what happened was when e. I heard it when I heard it, I was walking to my car and I stopped and I did a U-turn and I started walking his way because he turned <laughs> back and he seen me and he started running I was like yeah go on hit him keep That's going cool. and I, I caught his ass up at the family mart <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, did I'm you, about to, uh, you ain't you ain't match him, did you? Nah, cause I know if I did that, they would have put yeah, me under the jail. Right. I ain't got time to eat no fermented yeah. fish and, yeah. and rice Hell and shit. Yeah. I, I think, like the food. I, I, I make. Low, I low key think some. Yeah, of them, man. I, I low key think some some Japanese. Uh, I think they know that shit. That's oh, why they, they do. What he they knew do it. He knew it because he ran. He ran, and yeah. I knew, and I know he couldn't run. Yeah, cause I would have caught his ass. Right, exactly. And, and man, I I would have slid his ass in front of his boys. Japanese folks, peak game, man. Y'all got to stop that shit. Conversation we probably gonna have. I know y'all. I'm talking about pure Japanese. Folks, I know y'all love hip hop. I know there is a cluster of y'all that love hip hop. Mm-hmm. Watch your motherfucking Don't mouth. Say this shit. <laughs> you feel me? Watch your motherfucking Catch mouth. Catch the skibbity yeah. paps. That's all I exactly. Catch Watch the skibbity paps. Shout, shout out to Tony Baker. Hey. Watch your fucking mouth. You understand? We we understand. We understand y'all involved in the culture. We understand that y'all love the culture. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got y'all walking around here with dreadlocks and braids and all type <laughs> wow, of shit. The N-word is off limits. I don't give a fuck. What you think the N word is off limits for you? Because believe me when I tell you, you be around the right one, you gonna get your you gonna get your your dreads beat the fuck off you. You feel or me? Or pulled off? Yeah, or mm-hmm. pulled off or whatever the fuck. And for any of those, like I said, women that's got mixed kids, all right, it is not okay for you to use that word. If you cannot teach, if you cannot educate your child on that word where it came from. The, the negative of it and all that other shit, you should not be using that word. Now, if your child decides to use that word later on down the line, maybe he done found a mentor, maybe he done did some research, this, that, or whatever, whatever. Do not. Don't be using that word all loosey-goosey. Don't be using our word just all willy-nilly because you find, again, unless you got some motherfucking hands... Watch your goddamn mouth, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Watch your fucking mouth. You're what definitely catching black history with you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> real you real quick. Lesson, go, dude, we going platinum on yeah. your ass. <laughs> real quick. You, you, real you, you. Quick. Hey, so uh, yoga. 
Yes. Back to the yes. subject. Back to the yoga. Oh, thanks. now you were saying something that I had. I'm glad we saved some time for. Yes, we thank y'all for for having us. For, thank y'all for allowing me to, to have that conversation with y'all about the mixed kids and the, and the n word and blah 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 blah. Watch your fucking mouth. Uh, real quick, cause we got a little bit of time. You said something about. You trying to get more men into your goddamn class, but they feel all macho and whatnot and this, that, or whatever, whatever. Uh is that is that is that the common reason why men turn it down? I think so. Because they uh, yeah. men think they all just too macho and shit to do. Too it. too macho and you know, they see yoga as a uh, as a female sport. Mm, okay. Yeah. But yeah. it's not necessary. And like even they said the yoga when yoga started, like Thousands of years ago. It mm-hmm. was men. Women were not allowed to do it. Mm. And then. Look at, us up. Women, Look at us fucking up shit again. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was all about men. All and about then. Men, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Got gotcha. and, and, Yeah. What was the purpose of it? So. Why was it created? Yeah. Yoga uh-huh. was created for, in India. Like, yeah. And they say like maybe 4,000. I was about to say something racist. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like so <laughs> four four thousand to five thousand years ago, that's when it started. And then the yo- the word shut up. Yoga started. Uh-huh. It, it's to contr- it's, it's. I was just about to ask, what does it mean? So, uh, it's that rope that connects the horse and the carriage. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Education. Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. So that's the origin of the word yoga. So how they got from that to stretching? So the meaning is it's like looking at the horse, like the person on the carriage is controlling the horse. Uh Uh-huh. So it is to control yourself, your emotions, your your mind, and your body. Uh Uh-huh. And to be able to control it because like um it could relate to the, the seven seven sins, but like you know, being greedy or being like right, so so, so, so self control, so to speak. Yeah, so gotcha. to con- self control, right, and right, right. yeah, and I can't name all of them right now. And it moved into like the seven steps. There's like eight branches. Got you. That's like the basic, uh-huh. and the basic is like what not to do, uh-huh. what to do. Mm-hmm. And then it moves into um, breathing and then also moving your body and then into meditation. And and there's like a whole a whole bunch right, of things. Right, 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 right. And so it's like meditation is what we want to do is to be able to clear your mind. Mm-hmm. But people have like up to 60,000 thoughts that runs through your mind yeah. throughout That's the day. That's a lot. You might want to yeah. add a couple more thousand yeah. for me. Go so <laughs> it is to um, ADD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just chiming yeah, in. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and, and like, I, saw, like I probably sound like I'm all over the place, but I, I, I'm trying to. Yeah, come on back over here. We <laughs> have five people. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. So the main goal is to you know control your yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and to do that, you need to be aware of yourself first. Got it. So meditation is not clear in mind. It's about like learning who you are, what your thoughts are. And, got you, got you. And also weeding out whatever you don't need. Mm-hmm. Any thoughts that you don't need anymore, let them go. And then to help that, you need to breathe. Okay, got you. Let's, let's okay, jump okay, on okay. that. Okay. Let's so, jump yeah, on I, that. Yeah, you, you hold on, hold on. Because I got on. some pushback. No, 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 no. I want to get back to the reason we even started this whole conversation. How many men yeah, that's go where I was going. to your class? The, uh, give me, give me, okay, give me, 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 not every Start class, there. not every time. So I give don't me, have give me a body every... count on how many men come to your class. So maybe one or two out of ten total people now, that comes. Are they the stereotypical, like your macho men, or are they actually people that look like they? Their wife make them. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. And I was there are say, some like, men hit. that comes because their wife yeah. told them to come. Their hair, and hair tied up by hemp. And, yep. and yeah. They're like, you don't stuff. come, you get nothing. Yeah. And those two. <laughs> and those two. That motherfucker yeah. stretched his ass out. No, no, like, no, no, no. Okay, so the masculine thing, right? The masculine <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. Let's talk about yoga on that on that level. For me, the understanding of what yoga is, the, mm-hmm. the meditation and, and control of emotions. Mm-hmm. Is a great point for somebody, anybody, doesn't matter, man, woman, child, adult, mm-hmm. uh, to learn yoga. Mm-hmm. The conception of we got to be masculine 
does not necessarily stand into the to the to the mix as we can't see be seen as weak ah as weak right and the so flexibility, is that why they're not going to this class because they don't want to be seen as weak? i would have to say i mean we have to ask the audience but i would say i would say that that'd if be there more are any of, men out there that do yoga all right hit them comments let us know what time know. it is because i i I don't athletes do it. Professional athletes do yoga. I yeah. understand. Shit, like ninety percent of their workouts. Because you, is you give me a personal trainer that, that comes in and teaches me yoga to stretch or flex. Right. I'm gonna do it. Wait, 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 wait. I got a question. Yeah. I got a question. I got a question. Real quick, what's the difference between yoga and Pilates? Oh, so good. Similar but different. Pilates okay. is more physical movements. Got you. So you do a lot of core exercises. Uh -huh. And also it has benefits that it heats up your temperature. Uh -huh. I actually um, studied in medical Pilates, yeah. not like a full on Pilates, oh, got you. but it actually came from a guy whose last name is Pilates. For real? Yes. That, that motherfucker and, is he rich? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, so he the whole workout. Rich. Motherfucker so the whole the workout. Whole workout. Out. Yeah. So the fuck uh, out of here? I'm trying to get my history together. I think he was, Somewhere in Europe. Okay. I want to say Germ Germany. I is he white? Yeah. Of course he's yeah. white. Of course he's white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's white. Who <laughs> has a last name of Pilates? It's black. Holy yeah. <laughs> shit. Don't yeah. ask questions. But, Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. But I, um, like in the early 1900s when uh -huh. there was like these wars going on and he, he was captured uh -huh. and, you know, to keep his troops motivated yeah. and active yeah. he came up with all these core exercises got it that led into being this pilates god you <laughs> ain't it yeah wait, so wait, 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 wait. You, you do have a date on that i just just asking i don't want to drag it out but do you have a date when he created all this shit when did pilates come into the world uh, like know? i want to say in the mid 1900s oh, wow. I, I, why the fuck it was just now getting it or, or has it been around and nobody so they it has been around. At, like, <laughs> they, 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 they come yeah. find a way to make money off that shit. Yeah. Some but it, shit. it started to spread. Like, I think he brought it to the States. After he was released from being captured during hey. the war, hey. he moved to the States. And then he started teaching people, and mm -hmm. it, it moved into the celebrities. Got it. And that's oh, when it, it is. Crazy. Once, yeah. once a guy. Yeah, you know what a motherfucker can do in jail after they get out exactly. and just, hey, yeah. I'm going to show y'all some prison workouts. <laughs> Yeah. This is how then, we can do it. Kali, that's pretty much it. Kali, that's it. That's Kali, it. That's it. Push that's it. Kali, he, was, he was locked up and he did some prison workouts. But he workout. came out of the bodybuilding. Yeah, he I didn't mean, do who, shit about I mean, prison who, workouts. Who, who, Kali, 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 he came out. Dude. Yeah, he, okay. muscle he, Kali. He came okay. out and did but his workouts. He came workout out and did bodybuilding, body got a heart attack, lost all his weight, and then he did calisthenics. Gotcha. Yeah, but he did the workout out of the prison. That's what oh, I did. Yeah, but imagine that. Hey, we learned something today, y'all. Did y'all learn something, boys and girls? I did. Already. I didn't know Pilates. Uh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very fucking much. God damn. I, <laughs> I wish I could make up some shit and just bring it to this. Hey, <laughs> hey this is my new hey. shit. You got <laughs> jerk. Yeah. 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 What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, I do. I'm going to come with back. The strengths. Nah, they're going to tax me on that. Hang hey. that other shit up. <laughs> those, those, those that wings. idea going to come with taxes. Those, those, those wings. Those wings. Yeah, the wings. wings going all over the place. Right yeah, there. They the barbecue are, man. sauce. That's crazy, though. I, I ain't think that. You, like, could, you, could, you could put that out as a product. Wings, God, barbecue sauce. Y'all know the wings. Hey, he got one called Island Boy Jerk. You feel me? Yes, sir. I got to taste that. And that coconut mango. Oh, I heard the coconut mango is fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all need to stop fucking with that uh that damn Indian <coughs> splash and rice y'all be eating. Oh my god! Hey, can I go. can I end the end episode though? Go ahead. Hey. Yeah I, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Hell what yeah, we hell talked yeah. about earlier, right? How long I got? You got a minute. Okay, real quick. Hey, so just to talk seconds. about the the universe. <laughs> hey, things come full circle. What you do for other people comes back, man. And just just pay attention to what you do on the, on the topics today about how you could tell your younger self. A homie I, I looked out for, hey, shout out to Anwar. Hey, I heard some good news today that, that he's doing good for himself. Mm. He's out uh, making, making food for people, mm. whereas he was always one I looked up to in college where he took care of people. So, hey, comes full circle. Do what you can for the fellow brother, and, and don't do it for any other reason but, but because you have love for that person, mm, yeah, yeah. and the universe will speak to you. Already, man. Hey, yo, this your boy, Jake. This is why the podcast. Uh, we'll see y'all next time, man. Yeah, yeah.